Okay, what we have is we have functions <coughs> with the property that their values at 0 and at 1 are both 0. <coughs> so if f of x is a typical function, uh, its value at 0 would equal its value at 1, which is 0. Now we want to prove that this um, set of functions is closed under addition. Um, so actually, I think the way the problem is stated is prove that the sum of two such functions is such a function. To prove the sum of two functions, uh, each of which is 0 when x is 0, each of which is 0 when x equals 1, also has that property. The sum would be 0 when x is 0 and 1 when x equals 1. So we write that down, as, and, that, and that is closure under addition, okay? Um, so we write that down as f of 0 equals f of 1 equals 0, g of 0 equals g of 1 equals 0. So now f and g represent two functions that have that property. Well, then it follows that f plus g of 0 equals what? Okay, the sum of the two functions, f plus g is the function that's the sum of the two, evaluated at 0. Well, that just means f of 0 plus g of 0. And f of 0 and g of 0 are both 0, so the sum is 0. And we can do the same thing at 1 and find that f plus g at 1 is 0. Thus, f plus g is in the space. Now, actually, I wasn't looking at the statement of the problem when a student came in and asked me this. Uh, I say it's in the space. I'm going to say it has the property. Now, the, these functions do form a vector space, okay, functions with these characteristics. Um, in any case, f plus g has that property.